All right, we have here a Quickie 700M. M is for mid-wheel drive. So this is the Quickie 700M. This power chair is built like a tank. This is made by Sunrise Medical. The Quickie is one of their chairs. This chair has six wheels on the ground. It has spider track tracking. So what that means, the, the suspension is fantastic. If you look at the front wheel here, how, how it, it comes up like this, and it's, it's just, it's, you've got the back, the front, all four different casters are individually suspended. You can even see the back one right here has a shock right here, like a, a gas shock on the back side. I don't think I can lift that, it's too heavy. But this chair is built like a tank. This chair has 107 miles. So that means it was used for about five months. So if a person used their chair every day, it's about 25 miles a month. So if it's got 107 miles, it's about four or five months, okay? So this, this chair has the 12 inch seat lift, the electric tilt, the electric recline, and the electric feet. It has other features. Now you can make the seat, all the features go up through the joystick or through the switch box. I'm gonna use the joystick today because the switch box is on the left side over there. So to make the features go up, first thing you would do is find on your screen a picture of the seat. As soon as you see a picture of the seat, you keep pushing down. When you see a picture of the seat, whatever is yellow is what the function is going to be. So right now on the screen, the cushion is yellow only. That's, that's going to be the seat lift. So if I push this forward, you can see the seat lift going up. The seat will start at 22 inches. So if you add 12 inches, by the time you're all the way up, the seat will be up 34 inches. So you'll definitely be able to reach the second cabinet in your home, do your dishes, looking down at your dishes if that's what you need to use it for. So the seat is all the way elevated now, just about. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it back in speed. There's five speeds. So you can still drive this chair very fast with the seat elevated. As you can see, the seat elevated, you see how fast it drives, okay? And I was going to show you the suspension, but it's too, you have to have a person with more weight on it. So let's look at the base while we're looking at this chair. So Quickie makes a, Sunrise Medical who makes the Quickie chair, makes a really good chair. So you can see right here we have 14 inch wheels, solid wheels, they will not mark your floor. Your caster wheels in front, caster wheels in the back. You have an anchor point here and you have another one right here. So one here, one here. This is where you secure your chair to your lift if you're going to transport this chair into your van or on your lift. Now remember, this chair weighs 425 pounds, so it's a heavy, heavy because it's all metal. 425 pounds, a heavy power chair, okay? We have a motor, you can see the motor from there, right here. There's your motor, it goes straight down to the hub, okay? These are four pole motors, what that means is four brushes. These are high quality motors, okay? These are your good motors. This chair also should go pretty fast outside. So when we do the video outside, I'll tell you how fast it goes. So you have a motor for each wheel. So right now, if I want to push the chair, you can see it's not going anywhere because it's in gear. But if I turn the power off, and the reason you want the power off, you want no resistance in the motor, okay? Turn the power off. You have a red handle in the back. If you turn that handle down, what that does, whoop, it, it, um, it unlocks the wheel, okay? You gotta do both motors on both sides, then you can roll your chair around, okay? When you're done, do not forget, put that gear, that motor back in gear, and you can hear it when you're in gear, okay? You can actually see the way the seat lift is built. This is the armature for the seat lift. You can see the motor right here for the seat elevation right here going that way. Um, so let's bring, let's turn the chair back on and let's go back to the function with a seat. Oop, I went right past it. All right. So I'm going to bring the seat back down this way. Okay. So the seat's going down. You've got a swing away joystick on this chair, which all top, uh, expensive chairs usually have. So you can get closer to a table. If you're left-handed and you need to drive with the joystick on the left side, we can switch everything to the left with no problem at all. So that's your swing away joystick. You also have with this chair, flip up arm. So if you transfer from the side, 
okay? And these are removable. So the next function we're going to do, which is the second most popular function, it's called the electric tilt. The electric tilt is when the base right here goes back. So when the base goes back, it's going to take the legs, it's going to take the back because they're all connected together. This is called the electric tilt. So if you wanted some good circulation, we're going to see how this as far as it goes. The next function I'm going to show you are the electric feet. So if you're five feet tall or six foot two, we can adjust these legs right here by moving them up and down this track right here. So right now this chair is adjusted probably for a person 5'10", 5 5'9". 5 but you can see that you would definitely have your legs towards the ceiling. Okay? So the next thing I'm going to show you is I'm going to bring the tilt down. Whoop, that's not the tilt. There we go. So if you had the seat tilted down halfway, like this, you still have your feet higher than your body, even at this position here, okay? So even right there, you can still have your feet, you don't have to go all the way up. So, so far we've covered the seat lift, the tilt, the electric feet, and the last function, it's called the electric recline. The electric recline is when the back right here goes back by itself. That's called the electric recline. You do have a safety belt somewhere in here. Okay, so this chair will not recline any more than this. So if you're laying down in your chair, that's what it's going to look like. Okay, we're going to bring the recline back. You know, I'm going to do two functions at once. I'm going to bring the recline up and the legs down. You can do that on your joystick, put the back yellow and the legs yellow then you've got two different functions at once. Now I'm going to leave the legs out a little bit and I'm going to bring just the back just the back forward a little bit more. Alright, let's look at the chair. Let's put it back in drive. Oop. Uh, some joystick you go this way, some go that way. This one you got to go the opposite way. So I'm going to put it back in drive so you can look at the seat. Now this chair here, uh, the feet does fold up like this, and if you need to get out, let me go back, ah, hit the wrong side again. Let's go back down this way, all right, down, 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 all right, so let's go down to the feet. What I'm going to do is I'm going to bring the legs all the way in, so you can see that when you get out, you can see for yourself. When you exit the chair, and I'm going to put it back in drive. This is all my fault. I'm going the wrong way with the button. So if you put it back in drive, when you turn inside your house, you can see the turning radius right here. See this? That's how it would turn inside your house. Right there like that. Because it's a mid-wheel drive, it has the best turning radius. So the foot plate do flip up. I'm going to bring it back this way so you can see it. The seat on this chair has got a Roho cushion, okay? This is an air cushion. You can actually see the pump, the air valve right here. So if I turn it, you can hear the air coming out. So you'd have a little plastic pump and you can adjust the pressure on this cushion to any desirable pressure you want. The cushion is 20 by 20. So it's a large back, at least 18, 19 wide. The cushion is 20 by 20. This chair, we're not sizing up the seat. So if you're buying this chair, you're buying it with this seat, okay? So just remember, the seat is 20 by 20 with an air, well, we can change the cushion, but we can't change the size. This is the chair, it's gonna go out this way, the way it's conformed, okay? We can adjust the legs up and down. We can adjust the seat, and that's about it. We're not changing the seat on this one. Also with this chair, you have lateral pads here. So these lateral pads, what they do is they keep your knees on the foot plate from fall, falling off. But also with this chair, you have guards on both sides right here. Both sides. So if you have your feet on here, 
they're not going to come off anyway because you have guards on both sides. Plus you have these, these uh, lateral pads and these pads can be moved a little more forward or all the way back here which is wherever you need it. Okay. Also on the side of this pad you've got a little bag right here that you can put your cell phone. As I said earlier, you do have a safety belt this way. You have all your functions here if you want to make the seat tilt recline on this side or you can have it behind the joystick. It, 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 it all it doesn't matter if you want it there or behind it. We can switch it over if we have to. The headrest is fully adjustable and removable. So I think we've covered just about everything on the chair. When you charge this chair, you'll take your charger. We're going to use this charger for example. You're going to plug it below your joystick right here. And as soon as the light on your charger goes from orange to green, the charger will recognize the batteries are full and the charger will stop charging. Okay? So, let's recap on this chair. This is a Quickie Power Chair, Quickie 700M for mid-wheel drive. It has the spider track suspension. It has, you can see the red shocks over here for the front and there's another, there's shocks all the way around on this chair. This chair weighs over 425 pounds, which will give it a really good ride because it's a heavy chair with a lot of suspension. You have extra large foot plates with guards on the side. You've got the 12 inch seat lift, the electric tilt, the electric recline, the electric feet. You also have the swing away joystick. You have the lateral pads for your knees, the safety belt, the air cushion. You've got the adjustable headrest. This chair was used, it's got 107 miles, so it was used for five months. This is the Quickie, the Quickie M700 power chair. M700M, really smooth power chair. You can feel that it, it is heavy, you can feel it just the way it rides. It's a really nice, solid power chair, easy to drive. You can feel the suspension when you turn right or you turn left. You can feel the suspension when you turn right or left. So the top speed on this chair was uh, six miles an hour. I'm going to elevate the seat so you can see the seat going up right now. And I'm going to drive the chair with the seat elevated. So as soon as the seat is elevated all the way up, and when you drive this chair with the seat elevated, please drive it on flat surface, not in the backyard, please. These are real expensive chairs, they're really nice, but you do have to take care of them. There we go. So this chair will drive at uh, three miles an hour with the seat elevated. So this is the one with the nice motors, the tilt, the recline, the legs, just a really nice Quickie M, a uh, Quickie 700M. Hi, I'm Mark. And my name is Alex. We're co-owners of Mark's Mobility. I started this company in 1995. We sell many products, not just what you see in this video. If you have any questions or concerns, please call us at the number below at 800-677-6293. Thank you and have a wonderful day.